I have a hilarious and somewhat unbelievable clip to show you of Donald Trump being mocked, not just anywhere, being made fun of and teased and taunted live on Fox News. Remember, Fox News is one of the networks that made Donald Trump into this cult-like figure among the right and still mostly defends him and his evil actions. But even on Fox every once in a while, they can't help making fun of this idiot. Donald Trump has the announced Billy as an idiot. He's called Bob Woodward a sleaze. Uh, and by the way, Trump still takes shots at you <laughs> over the first presidential debate that you moderated last year saying, oh, you didn't have control. Well, you know what I say is for a landlord, I'm very grateful that I'm allowed to occupy so much uh, space in Donald Trump's brain rent free. Uh, you know, I, I'm not talking about him, but yes, he still wants to talk about the uh, September 29th, 2020 debate. You know, but to the extent that it got out of control, uh, yeah, where, where does the fault lie on that? Well, we sent some poor, unfortunate Fox intern who looked and Trump uh, interrupted Biden, important, me, not, doesn't matter, 145 times in 90 minutes. I think that's a world record. I think Guinness should write him up for that. Listen to that. Isn't that hilarious? That's Chris Wallace on the Howard Kurt show. It's like their weekly media criticism show. And they couldn't help but make fun of this guy, basically saying that people like Chris Wallace live rent free in Donald Trump's head because a year after the election, basically one year since those debates, it's been almost a year exactly, Donald Trump is still complaining about the unfair moderation while Chris Wallace has banned Donald Trump from his show, something we talked about last week, the week before. And it just shows how delusional and egomaniacal Donald Trump is, that he still cares about a debate a year ago, and he still actually thinks it was unfair to him. As that clip notes, that debate was an absolute mess. Yes, but it was almost entirely due to the idiocy of Donald Trump. There were hundreds of interruptions, almost all of them from Donald Trump. And it's probably one of the reasons why Donald Trump lost, if I'm being perfectly honest, because he was so embarrassing and unnecessarily aggressive. But I think this shows a couple things going forward. One, this is great for us because I love to make fun of Donald Trump and we all need a little bit of levity in our day-to-day -day life. But more than that, it shows the danger of Trump. It shows that Donald Trump does not forget who he wants to take revenge on in the media, in the business world, in politics, whatever. And so you can't think of Donald Trump as a guy who, if he gets to be president again, will sit down calmly and say, OK, look, I got a second chance at this. I'm going to learn from my mistakes and I'm going to learn from the errors of my past administration. And I'm going to be the best president ever because I'm going to be a different guy. No, he's going to come in with an absolute wrecking ball of revenge for anyone that dared question question him, whether it's Chris Wallace, whether it's Republicans that aren't 100% pro-Trump, whether it's progressive Democrats like AOC and Ilhan Omar that stood up against him. It doesn't matter who he is going out for revenge. So let's laugh at this, but keep it in mind. Anyone that still cares about a debate a year after it happens is not a healthy person and they are a dangerous person.